Yo, what is going on everybody? We are back with another video. And this week, I'm gonna show y'all how to make the perfect smoothie bowl every time. Just like this one. Delicious smoothie bowl. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's get into it. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is start with our base. So let's grab our beautiful blender. our base. All right, I don't need to pretend y'all like didn't see that. First thing we're gonna do is pick our flavor. So I'm gonna do a mixed berry. So I guess for berry wise, I, I only have blueberries and strawberries. Now, this is the most important part. You need something to make it smooth. So you can either use frozen bananas like I do, or grab you an avocado. That'll make it thick, thick, you know? So we're gonna start with our bananas. Got my sad looking frozen bananas. You don't gotta throw in as much as I do, but it's just, just how I like it. We're throwing our blueberries. We got our strawberries. We're throwing some goji berry powder. Or, you know, you can just grab some goji berries. Just do a scoop of this. Just a scoop of this. Uh, scoop of this. Then I got these mixed organic greens and it's mixed berry flavor. So we got a scoop of this. Usually people wouldn't put any kind of liquid in, but since I make a lot, you know, this thing is just about full, I like to add. Either, no, I don't like to use juice because, well, sometimes, no, well, you, all right, use your liquid of choice. Sometimes I would use juice, sometimes it's milk, but this time we're using coconut water. Only do a little bit at a time because you want it, you don't want to put too much and make it be a smoothie. We want a thick smoothie bowl. Coconut water. Get to blending. Make sure you get you a, a blender with a tamper in it. So you can push all this down. Well, we're not done blending yet, but you want to give it a drop. Ooh, y'all gotta do this one though. I'm just put a smidge more liquid in, make it a little easier. Nothing too much, nothing too crazy, you know what I'm saying? Nothing too crazy. All right, that is perfect. Now, here's a little trick, y'all. 
to know that it's your smoothie bowl is the perfect consistency and good. And it's thick, we gotta put it through the Dairy Queen test. And y'all know, if you ever got Dairy Queen, and you got one of their blizzards, they flipped it upside down. So we should be able to flip this upside down and not fall out. You ready? Boom, baby. Let's go. Grab our bowl. And we're just gonna dump it in. For the most part, it should come out in one fail swoop. Made a little mess on the side, but you know it'd be like that sometimes. It wouldn't be me if I didn't make a mess. Now, we're going into our toppings. Now for the toppings, the perfect smoothie bowl will have something fresh, like a fresh fruit on the top, something crunchy, like freeze dried, blueberries in, or whatever, or maybe coconut shit, no, 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 that's it. Coconut shreds has to be on smoothie bowls. I feel like that's, it has to be. And then you need something to drizzle. So either honey or a nut butter. And let me show you what I'm, what I'm, what I'm topping it off with. All right, so we're gonna top these boys off. We're gonna do some blackberries. Along with some blueberries. And do some raw pistachios. Already know. What did I tell you? Coconut shreds. And I was gonna top this off with some almond butter, but now that I see that I have pistachios and coconut shreds, I think maybe that'd be a little too much fat. And then I'll, so we're just gonna use some honey. Actually, we'll put a little bit of almond butter, just a little. There we have it, y'all. Delicious smoothie bowl. And also some uh, other good toppings you can throw on top. You can throw some hemp seeds. Hemp seeds is good on top. Chia seeds are also good on top. Throw some, uh, some flaxseed meal on top. Sprinkle that boy on top. So much you can do. But uh, let's try this smoothie bowl. Let's get one good look first. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We got the crunch from the pistachios, the coconut from the coconut flakes, the softness from the berries. Nah. And the super thick, thick, thick from the bananas in the smoothie bowl. Ooh. But anyways, I hope this helped you guys out. So you can make your own smoothie bowls at home and they turn out fantastic 
every time. So usually people, they, they don't usually put liquid in, but if you do make a big portion like I do, just put a little bit of liquid in. It'll help you, it'll help you out. But anyways, give me a like if you enjoyed this video. Comment down below if this helped you learn how to make a smoothie bowl. Subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Cause you know we got more. And I'll see y'all next Friday at noon Eastern Standard Time. Peace.